Yo, what's up everybody and welcome back to another video. Now before we start, look down there, you'll see a little thumbs up button. Make sure to tap that if you do enjoy this video, it means a lot to me. And if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But with that being said, we're going to be hopping into an old meta I used to run years ago, but is actually very viable. So all you guys are familiar with the common wizard farm ace strategy for a game. Works really good. But a strategy I used to run a lot. I mean, every time I would come across a game, I would run Heli Village Farm. I've not done it for a while, but, you know, I figured let's go ahead and jump back into that old style gameplay. See if it's still viable. So we let we are luckily, even though we're in free power ups, we're playing a triple passive start, meaning he has... Damage boost, copy eco, and lightning. He doesn't have like quick shot team tower stun, nothing like that. So that is really good. I seen he had a whiz start, so we are chilling. We know he's not grinding. He's not gonna be trying to knock us out, so that is perfect for us. But of course, I do have the uh, dual eco boost versus his copy eco, and with heli, it's kind of hard to eco a lot while trying to farm and make sure you have adequate defense because if you guys aren't familiar heli is a very expensive tower so yeah we're just trying to farm along force that lightning on him real quick he gets it up we don't want him getting an early plantation so uh, let's see here he yeah you guys I, sh I should probably be blocking out the towers down here so that you guys can't see what the opponent has until they place it. What do you guys think about that? Should I do that? I don't know. It's round five. He hasn't sent us any pinks until now. And then we are forced to get our quad darts, of course. I tried to greet it out, which I did. I got my plantation up and then the quados. Yeah, the reason I like but dislike this heli strategy first of all i'm not a bit myself i'm not a big fan of touch to follow towers like the dartling and the heli but on the plus side on a game you kind of need a touch to follow tower because balloons are all over this place look at the send path with the ai path it it's very necessary so that's why heli has such a great advantage here it's because i could concentrate it in areas i need it to be so you'll see me Moving that heli all over the place. I really didn't need a lightning that, but I did it just for greed's sake. I mean, you see, we're greeting hard. We got that freaking uh, dual eco boost putting in the work. So if you could catch a farm advantage with heli, dude, you just pretty much won the game. And that's basically what we're doing here. But I want to try and cripple him, so I believe I sent him some, uh, yeah, just one region white, two. Enough to kind of get him to put some defense up which he goes for the ace that worked pretty well i hit him with the nice because he's going whiz farm ace it's a good strategy it really is um uh, i wouldn't say one is better than the other honestly there are cons and pros to each strategy but like it heli used to be my favorite strategy for this map and then i end up going to ace whiz ace and i might be going back to a uh, heli farm you guys can see i'm getting ready to do the trick here pay attention to my money eleven hundred dollars watch now i collect this after dual eco boost i dual eco boost now collect those and we end up with 42 4400 it's pretty crazy definitely take advantage of the uh the full advantage of your dual eco boost round 11 and 12 are so quick that you don't have to worry about the bananas disappearing so i like to time them to where it will run out one round before 11 or 12 so i not sure i got that bank up which is a bit unfortunate it was a greedy move i was like uh, should i do it <laughs> and i end up trying i don't think it worked but I go ahead and go for that full BIA here, and he decides to follow up the same. Does he get it? Yeah, he gets it this round as well. 
Oh yeah, this guy appears to be a YouTuber. I couldn't find him on YouTube, but yeah, if you guys could find him, let me know. But he he played pretty good. He was a really good opponent. I mean, he, he had a pretty good win streak and everything. Not win streak, but ratio, win loss ratio. Bunch of medallions, all that good stuff. But realistically, if you could get around 14, 15 BIA using heli, you pretty much won. If, if, like uh, another good strategy a lot of people go on here is Cobra. And that could be tragic for the heli player because you really need a Apache up for adjustments. So like if he started, say they would, usually they would adjust round 18. So I don't have an Apache up. I'd be a little screwed here. <laughs> he goes for a small lead thing. I don't know what my heli's doing there. It was like geeking out. I sent him a Moab because I knew he couldn't defend. Well, couldn't, you know, we had a force defense. Which he actually handled that pretty well. It takes some leaks, but nothing too serious. Well done on his part. And as the Wiz player, the Wiz player never wants to be the aggressor. So we have that advantage to us too. Because the Wiz has to worry about defending, where most other strategies have to worry about aggression. So we send him a BFB where he does not send us one. I sell that and go for that Hapachi right away because it... it I could have swore he would have sent a BFB. A BFB forces a $14,000 upgrade on the heli player. And he didn't send it, which why would he? I mean, I immediately went for that. So good play on him. Good play. Yeah, that head patch, he's putting in the work though. But the village, man, you get that. Uh, what is the ability for the heli? Not the heli, the uh, village. Yeah, that, that thing goes hard. It goes really hard. So, yeah, you guys see how this plays out. Definitely recommend it. Give it a try. It's not going to end up going exactly how I'm displaying it here. Like, I kind of got lucky in scenario of how it played out. But I got my two BIAs, and us being needing a lot of eco for a strategy like this, I go ahead and I keep my BIAs as late as I can, which is typically no later than round 28. And then I try not to cash them out. I like to let them cook like all the way up 1800 or less. And it looks like he's going to die there, but he ends up taking a lot of leaks, but no death. No death. He had a lot of close calls. I was very shocked by the ZMG play. play. I can't believe he sent this. Uh, that was a bit wild. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting it. So, I mean, hey, I was actually putting that heli down anyways, which was crazy. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll get a, a batchy up. But yeah, he ends up sending that, which stunned to his farms pretty bad, pretty bad. So he's, he's kind of hurting over there. I wouldn't recommend that, but I end up lightning using a lightning because he is sending leads underneath. And I do end up damage boosting, unfortunately, because I see AI creeping around. And then there's just a bunch of ceramics. That would have been death if I didn't boost. So we did do, we did offend. We did indeed. But he needs to worry about defending over there because he is under defending. But like, I'm also trying to get my farms up so that I can afford to defend. You know, more than one ZMG because Heli takes a lot to defend. But if you could get it right down right, I'll tell you what, it does some work. It does indeed, especially with that uh, village. But it looks like we're bad on farms. It really does. But it soon flips. Yeah, I was looking at his defense. I'm like, man, this guy needs a BFB size. So sent him a little wrapped up bfb i was like here you go buddy now it didn't really force any defense surprisingly just two phoenixes is just that op but i figured with uh round 25 ai 
would wreak some havoc. But he made it look like a cakewalk. Good for him. Good for him. So I did have to cash out my BIAs. I think twice. Oh, no, just once on each one. To get the two Apaches I have. So it kind of took a little longer for them to cook up. But once they cook up, I mean, we're floating a lot of cash. I think I went for my first facility there. I mean, his farms aren't doing too great either. Neither of our farms are doing good. That's just a fact. But let's see how this goes. We got a fact up right there. Unfortunately, I don't think that was in range of the village. That's the good thing about village, though, is because it's hard to farm with any heli strat. But with village, it helps a lot to be able to make those farms cheaper. So you have a better chance of getting good farms in a late game. So, yeah, we in round 28, we sell both our BIAs and then just start slamming down farms. We got four facilities. He's got three and a BIA. I, I typically don't like keeping BIAs past round 28 unless I have like super and I know it's going to go really late. But like I'm expecting this to end round 32 to round 35. So there wasn't a big point in keeping a BIA around. So and our eco is doing pretty good, honestly. But yeah, we're just farming away. This is the time to do that. We got three Apaches, so we're just chilling there. And I surprised him with the early Xeon G on round 30 when ramping starts. So just that alone is going to force a lot of defense, possible boost, and maybe even a farm cell. I doubt it, but yeah, this, this is going to force a lot. But I didn't want to start sending too much and damage the eco we worked for. So I just continue farming as much as I can while trying to defend. As you guys could see there, I like to keep my helis on touch to follow, right? So I can move them around the map where I need it. But I keep one on a uh, patrol so it will catch anything that I might not see. So you'll see it do a lot. Like it actually clutched up for me pretty well. So good looking for on the uh, Apache. <laughs> yeah, it, it caught some uh, sneaky ceramics floating by a few times while I was uh, trying to farm actually. Cause if you're farming, your heli is just moving everywhere and you kind of want them to stay on the path. Cause I have died from that before. So we're going on round 33 and he starts sending now, just one for now, now two. And this is where Heli really shines, but this is where Heli gets really expensive. So when this happens, you need to set, start swapping your uh, facilities out for Apaches and then get up a uh, MIB here. That's what it's called. The MIB goes hard as hell especially under a boost so i get up my two mibs and i start swapping out my uh my helis my facilities with helis and we're putting in the work though we really are now i do mess up here i thought these <laughs> i thought these were coming down this way i was like oh crap i have to damage boost i thought yeah <laughs> they're actually going around one more time i was like yeah, that was a bit of a blunder, but we didn't need to boost anyway, so it didn't matter if we boosted or not. But yeah, we completely defend that like a Chad, and yeah, he ends up going down, and I believe it was to AI. I mean, he definitely should have more wizards down by uh, round 30, but it is what it is. But yeah, definitely give the strat a try. It's well worth it. And with that being said, check out the Discord, check out the clan, and if you are not subscribed, definitely do so. Please, JK. Now, if you guys want to subscribe, go ahead, because at 500 subs, I'm going to be doing a club access giveaway. You know the uh, club for the uh, balloons? Yeah. I'll be giving away club access, so if you guys don't have that, this is your chance. I, I will only be giving away one for now. But at the 1,000 sub, I will be giving away 
we'll see what happens then. But I'm thinking five, maybe even seven club access passes will be given away at a thousand subs. So the quicker we hit that, the more likely you guys are able to win that. So definitely sub, leave a like. I appreciate you guys. And until next time, peace.